So guys, we made it back to my hometown, San Luis Potosí. We took a bus. A bus. A bus. <laughs> we took a bus yesterday from Mexico City here. The first time that I took one of those travel buses here in Mexico, it was shocking. <laughs> those travel buses here in Mexico are pretty luxurious, especially compared to the ones that I've taken in Germany, which mm. is Flixbus. Mm. Cancelled. They're, they're never gonna sponsor us again. <laughs> they have never done it, they but yeah. Done it, yeah. So we recorded uh, our trip yesterday. Let me tell you that it was incredibly stressful to make it to the bus. We almost missed it and the bus driver was super angry with us. Yeah, rightfully so, but it was still annoying. <laughs> we're gonna tell you why this happened. But for that, you need to know that Joseph's sister and her husband were also in Mexico City. And we wanted to take the same bus back to San Luis Potosí. All together. All together. We met at our apartment. We ordered two Ubers, one for them, one for us. And that's all you need to know. Here's what happened. After ordering the Uber, we left our apartment to wait outside on the street. A few minutes later, the car for Joss's sister and her husband came and they took off. At the same time, our Uber driver canceled on the last minute. So we had to order another one. And we waited and waited until we were starting to get desperate because it was already pretty late. But then finally, it arrived. And we were happy. We thought we might still make it after all. But we were in Mexico City. And Mexico City comes with Mexico City traffic. As if that wasn't bad enough, it started pouring and the traffic got even worse. Just texted her sister, who by this point had already arrived at the station, and told her that our Uber would arrive just as the bus was supposed to leave. And so her sister talked to the bus driver and begged him to wait for us. But the traffic got even worse and we were sure we were not gonna make it. But then, with a five minute delay, we arrived at the station. We ran through the entire building and saw our bus. The driver was not amused at all. We stumbled in apology, thanked him for waiting and got onto the bus. Which brings us here. Right now we took the ETN Touristar uh, company of buses. There's many in Mexico, but I think ETN is probably the most luxurious one. So I would call this like a luxurious bus from Mexico. The tickets were not that expensive, but I think they're more expensive than other ones. How much did we pay? We paid, I think, 35 euros. Yeah, for 700 pesos. For a one-way trip. Not bad, like for the amount of space that you have. And you have to think about, it's a double-decker. At the bottom of the bus, there are only four seats. And on top, also not that many. Yeah, and we have so much space. Back then, I remember they used to give you a pillow and also a blanket. But right now, we didn't get anything. Great. Maybe because we were late. So in this video, we're going to show you a little bit more of the bus. Of course, this is not sponsored. <laughs> right now, we just want to chill after the stress of getting there late, dealing with the traffic and dealing with people being angry at us for being late. So see you later. Alligator. So over there, there's an empty seat, and it's perfect for me to show you how much... <laughs> and I'm gonna show you how much space we have in the buses here in Mexico. Here, a lot of leg room, very nice. Uh, right now, my feet are at the bottom, but if I flip this around, I can put my legs up. And as you can see, my feet are not reaching the floor and I'm not that small so you should be fine if I wanted to I can also put the seat back and actually pretty far <laughs> oh, and I'm almost laying now if I wanted to watch a movie here we have TVs in front of us you were watching movies right? I was watching movies on my phone they have screens you know and you can watch movies in the bus but they're all in Spanish oh you cannot change the language and that's a real bummer so you didn't want to practice your Spanish? Is that what you're saying? Uh, yeah. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. <laughs> I was too lazy. <laughs> I wonder how much time we're gonna take today because to come to Mexico City, my dad took around 10 hours because of the traffic, yeah. And right now I looked up online and supposedly there's also a lot of traffic and we're gonna take like an hour extra. Until now it doesn't look bad, it looks pretty empty. And it's comfortable. Yeah, it's comfortable, but here's one thing I hate. I don't like the seat belt. Uh, seat belt. 
Uh oh. I don't like the seat belts at all. They push you back. They're trying to get back into the seat. And every time I'm like, Ugh! and they're super hard to take out of their cave. <laughs> <laughs> When I put mine on, I actually felt the same way. But right now I cannot feel it. And I like it because I can rest my head on it. Let me see. It's, it's the same way as yours. Oh, yeah, it's the same. Yeah, it's just that How can you not be somehow there? it's not as uncomfortable for me. <laughs> it's so annoying. Not my cup of tea. Let's talk about the toilets. Mm -hmm. How did you like them? <laughs> <laughs> so the thing is that Yannick went to the toilet and when he came back I asked him how were they and he didn't look that happy about it. <laughs> he was like, mm, not the best experience ever. Well they're kind of like airplane toilets, like the same, maybe a little bit bigger than airplane toilets. Yeah. It's actually not that bad. I barely fit here but maybe it's fine for you if you're short. But still not nice, like you don't want to sit down there yeah. that much. Like, and the flush is not really working properly, so... Yeah, he was having a hard time. <laughs> so when he told me that, I actually had to pee pretty badly. But I got scared of going to the toilet and I thought, I can hold on. <laughs> My bladder was about to explode and eventually I couldn't take it anymore. And he's like, it's not that bad actually. And it wasn't it's not that, that bad. bad. No. No. I held on for nothing, you weirdo. I did, I, I never talked that badly about the toilet. I mean, it's, it's still not a toilet where I want to spend time in, but it's a, it's a good size. It's definitely bigger than the one in Flixbus, <laughs> as far as I know. Here's this amazing footage that I took in the bathroom. Bathroom tour. just arrived um, we're waiting for everybody to get out so maybe we can record a little bit of the bus before we get out we made it to San Luis this is the station for the buses now we have to rush because my dad is already waiting I think And that was our trip to San Luis Potosí. Pretty nice bus, pretty nice experience. Let us know what you think about the bus. Definitely cheaper than an airplane for a five minute <laughs> yeah, ride. Yeah. Five, five hour. Five, five minutes. Wow, that was fast. Five hours. And we're gonna be here in my hometown for maybe a month or so. And then mm -hmm. we're gonna continue traveling. So subscribe to this channel because in the next episode we have no idea what's happening because we haven't made any plans yet. <laughs> yeah, you'll see it in the next episode, I guess. So see you soon. Bye. Cheers. <laughs>